what are some of the myths that you hear from mm-hmm. people who come to you saying, hey, like, you know, I want to find a remote job, but you know, this is my challenge. So what are some myths out there that you coach people on? Yeah. Well, yeah. And I think there's a lot of myths around this, this whole thing. I think the, the big thing to note about why I mentioned that people need to, it's because where all the industries are shifting, where the world is going is that virtual work is becoming a, a lot more mainstream. Mm-hmm. You know, you saw how COVID hit and basically accelerated the adoption of remote work by like 10 years. So more Absolutely. and more people are going remote, more people are, are recognizing that that is a lifestyle they can actually achieve. More companies are understanding that, hey, we were forced to do this, but we can actually do it. So mm-hmm. whereas, we, whereas we were going to wait five years, 10 years to make this transition, we were kind of, you know, putting up a situation where we couldn't wait. So I hear a lot of time that people talk about their background and skills not matching remote jobs. I hear mm-hmm. people talk about industries that they work in don't have any remote jobs and that there's no legitimate companies hiring remote um, mm-hmm. is certainly something I hear as well. I hear that I'm less qualified than an experienced than other candidates, so I don't stand a chance. And while there is, there is, there is almost like truth in, in a lot of myths, right? There's truth right. in a lot of things that we assume are true and the reason we assume they're true is because maybe at one point they were true for someone somewhere but Mm -hmm. the reality is if if we're gonna kind of deconstruct each one of those first and foremost if if your background may not match specific remote jobs but you have transferable skills that you can use in a lot of cases those are usually going to be what we call soft skills right Right. so you have soft skills that you can apply to or maybe a remote position uh, but you do need some of those technical skills and you do need a digital acumen. So if you're someone who's worked in a factory your whole life and you've never really worked on a computer, then yeah, but remote jobs are probably not the right thing for you, at least not until you develop a baseline a foundation of those other skills. But to just have a blanket statement of, hey, my skills don't match, so I can't do a remote job, I think is a cop out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we can you know, bust the other ones too. A lot of other industries are going remote. Let me tell you one story about a very interesting transition by an industry, uh, petting zoos. Petting mm-hmm. zoos, do you think that petting zoos have ever traditionally been remote? No, no, they haven't. <laughs> yeah. But what's happened is since COVID not having any visitors, there are petting zoos and farms online that will allow you to to zoom in one of their goats or one of their llamas or one of their animals into your meeting for a fee. So what we're seeing is, is that people are becoming innovative. Industries are changing overnight, coming out with digital versions of their product. And, And that's really where I want people to think is like, hey, you may not think that your industry has been typically remote, but there's people that are doing online telehealth and physiotherapy online. They're, they're doing doctor's that. visit. Yeah. Doctor's visits yeah. online. Yeah. Th- uh, two days ago. And it was, it was great actually. You know, I just had to be there waiting in my couch and in 15 minutes, somebody was available and she did a phenomenal job. She actually immediately asked, asked me what are the symptoms of COVID, which, which was not the case. Uh, yeah. But uh, another thing I'm thinking is like you said, you can have the llamas in your meeting. Like what does, like you can, when you're having a meeting, you can do a check-in with the llama. Like, what does that? So mean? you have a so you have a Zoom meeting, right? Yeah. They will. You send them the link, and they have a camera on the goat or on the llama, and the it's just in the meeting, like in on it on the screen, <laughs> as a I participant. Love it. As a participant. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I I need to get access to that uh, service. Actually, I do a lot of we do a lot of classes, and it's that that sounds amazing. Um, exactly so, what other people are saying too, right? Like it's actually, there's a market for it. Whereas eight months ago, there wasn't. So right. this, is the rea- this is the reality of the world that we're living in. That when a petting zoo can figure out ways to go remote, why can't you? That's what, that's what I say. <laughs> yes. You know? If a llama can go online, yeah, why can't you? So, you know, being open-minded. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will sure to come back with more exciting videos on Agile topics.